just start with the giant during the cutscene before an awesomely easy boss battle. But it's like, what's it? Faith says, let's get back to Diplo. They should be able to do something. You're right. I will pass out because of getting Diplo, shot. report. Shot in the shoulder. Dad! Doctor! No! Wait. Maria. Sophia. The data. She used to cause 100, 100, almost 100 damage. Now she causes like 300, 500 damage. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. 500. Look at that stuff. That's good. Wow. It's gonna be. She needs a push. There you go. I'll just run around and be confused. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, wait. Ah! Press circle to win. What's that with me? Desert. Nah. MP, that is, uh, well, we have blackberries. Yeah. We have blackberries. Yeah. yeah, there you go. 363 serious points. $1,262 and a ring of figure. Which you're gonna give to someone else. Mm. I'm gonna give that to Al Bill or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I that's what it is. But, I got this. Dad! Dad! Oh, fate. Ugh. 
so as his doctor going to die. No, I wanted to. I didn't want you to die. I wanted you to be alive, so that I could force you to answer my questions. <laughs> Again. Mm. And after you shoot off with the email laser. Diplo, it's over. Transport us up. Roger, Captain. We'll transport you up as soon as we can. Mm -hmm. And so, more cutscenes coming out. Because it's awesome cutscene. What's on Moonbase? Answer me, Dad. Is he dead, though? Mm, what's the problem? He, he's dead. Mm. Why are you asking that? Mm. This confused me for the first few times. Like, uh, fate. No fate. He'll be okay. Yeah, see, they say he'll be okay. It's not good because then it's like, what, what? Mm -hmm. you know, for a second, you're like, wait, you go on that Faith Dad? But then you realize, you know, they were going, they went to visit Alville. Mm -hmm. Alville will be okay. Mm -hmm. Where will live? Mm -hmm. Faith Dad, uh, no. Mm -hmm. Really? God. How long do you plan on moping around? Yeah, well, actually, this does the insensitivity of it. Like, is kind of of that question is kind of like how Cliff, how Cliff would say it. Mm. Mm. That's a mean thing to say. His father just died, you know. How about a little more sympathy? No, I think at this point, yeah, Mar Maria, trained by Cliff, would uh, push her out the way. Little more sympathy. Oh, yeah, the way. Your father left something to the two of us. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. <laughs> I don't care what you do. I'm going to Moonbase. Even if I have to go alone. Yes, I, I like Maria like this. She's all grumpy and surly and taking no prisoners here. I like that. Mm -hmm. Or she just stay that way throughout the whole game. Mm -hmm. Whatever my father left behind. So, it's awesome. Good fate. Good fate, huh? Maria has a point. It's not like you to be so depressed. Oh, well, yes. Again, if we didn't keep a seat here last time. Uh, yes, the fate, the cocky young boy that was running around killing little you know, monsters in the holodeck is different, is different than, uh, oh. This fate here, who's had a horrible things happen to him, you know, he, he, you know been stranded on a death on a plant with little technology and had to kill things for real. Uh, you know, people that you know, he cared about died. And, uh, you know, he got out of the world. That the reason why he was being chased in the first place, with everybody was being chased in the first place, was because of him. You know, and his dad died. And so he, he's definitely different. He's definitely changed since that time. Right in the beginning, date weeks ago, for me at least, weeks ago, uh, maybe months ago, that Sophia seen him last month. So it's like, yeah, so this does make sense that you would say it, but you know, or you would say, yeah, things have changed, you know, mm -hmm. not that phase anymore, you know, something like that would be nice, but though. But don't be too hard on yourself. Okay. Yeah, that okay can be like, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna try to make her so she doesn't worry. Mm. That's cool. That's okay. All right. So it's off the moon base then. Yes. Yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, uh, yeah. I've mm. already given the crew the order. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, you know how many color pencils are oh, those are uh, usually. I think I'm ready. Wait. Uh, that markers. Mm. Well, yes, regular markers. 
Well, like a little thick marker. Well, there there was a bunch of crayon. Alyssa had a bunch of crayon downstairs. Where? Well, so I think she took them to her room. Her room? Yeah. And we're back. We got ready for a new world. Huh? What did you just say? Do you know what you're saying? You might never make it back home again. Yeah, I know. So what of it? I don't think you understand what you're getting into. No thanks to you. The war's over, and Fox is dead. There's no excitement left in the Harry Cliff. Means I gotta find it somewhere else. Who goes to head? Well, he was ahead. Give, you know, made his dad look louder, though. Yeah, but... But it's a different matter if you think I'll weigh you down. Who knows? You won't be in the way, but still... Still what? Mm. You look... Well, we definitely... Interesting. Uh, yeah, maybe you should let us do the talking when it comes to things that don't involve killing things. <clears throat> I don't could be much for a diplomat, I can tell you that. It's a good idea. Yes. We'll kill anything huh? and it gets in his way. That awesome sort of sure? is. Yep. Yeah, I think so. Come yeah. on. When it comes to attacking things, when we go to the, the aggressive negotiations, I think we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Fine. We're regular negotiations. That's how you feel. I have no objections. Okay, what can you do? Good to have you with us. <laughs> yes? Incoming communication from Yakwa Ellie. What do you want to do? I'll be right there. when we get there. Only we will go to the Aqua Alley. Stand down weapons and wait until further notice. Mirage and Marietta, take care of her while we're gone. Roger. Captain? I mean, Maria? Don't worry about us. We'll take care of things here. We have Landcar and the others to keep us company. Be careful. 
Sun and steam members of court. That's right. If you are, please forget my manners. I am Lieutenant Fields. I serve under the command of Commander Whit Commodore Whitcomb. The Commodore has made me baby to show you around. I see. Thank you. In this case, I apologize for the rest, but could you please take us directly to the Commodore? <laughs> Very well. Please follow me. All right. Let's go. There's no time to waste. I wish I had better hair for fighting. Mm, close range. Makes no sense to have it all over the place so that people can grab it. Mm. It will take a while to reach Moonbase. Let me explain the situation in the meantime. The two of you in particular have been on Elecor for some time and probably know little of what is going on. Oh yes, in the main plot, yes. Mm. Please, fill us in. The Earth and the entire galaxy are facing an unprecedented threat. Alright, well, I'll take it. And we'll talk, find out what's going on with that threat. Next time in the next episode here of Chronic Star Wars, any time, check me out on YouTube at DeviantArt, especially my How Star Wars was the one should have ended on DeviantArt and on YouTube. That would have to be uh, Tekken 5. Let's play. Lots of funny moments in that.